take what we're really good at, like a Mustang, and we do the unthinkable and take on the Europeans, punch for punch, at what they've been doing for decades as an underdog. Ford's really gonna make a road-going version of that GT3 race car. It takes it to the best supercars in the world. After seeing the clay model of the Ford Mustang GT3 race car in the design studio, Ford Chief Executive Officer Jim Farley decided the Blue Oval needed to turn it into a road car. Built from a desire to win Le Mans with a Mustang, the 2025 Ford Mustang GTD is essentially the street-legal version of Ford's upcoming racer that is due to debut at the 24 Hours of Daytona before heading to Le Mans. Join me today in this video for deep dive into the all-new Ford Mustang GTD. Enhindered by racing rules, the GTD streetcar will have more power approximately 800 horsepower and active aerodynamic features that are illegal in the series Ford will race the Mustang GD3 in. Ford plans to build the street-legal GTD in limited numbers and it intends for this Super Stang to take on the best track cars in the world. As Farley puts it, it's for AMG Black, Aston Martin, Porsche GT3 RS. We want to beat it the GT3 RS at Le Mans, but we also want to beat it as a street car. The Ford Mustang GTD, this new iteration of the iconic American muscle car, takes the Mustang's performance to unprecedented heights, boasting a range of innovative features and engineering marvels that set it apart from its predecessors. At the heart of the Mustang GTD lies a monstrous 5.2-liter supercharged V8 engine. This powerhouse of an engine boasts a dry sump configuration and a remarkable ability to rev beyond 7,500 revolutions per minute. The result, a staggering power output of over 800 brake horsepower, making the Mustang GTD the most potent road legal Mustang ever crafted by Ford. The interesting twist is that thanks to the balance of performance regulations, this road legal version is even more potent than its racing counterpart. Mustang GTD, designed and engineered by Ford Performance and Multimatic, the GTD starts life as a body and white run of the mill Mustang that leaves the model's Flat Rock, Michigan plant and heads north toward Multimatic's factory in the Canadian province of Ontario. From there, the rear of the Mustang shell undergoes surgery to fit the GTD's transaxle, which contains a Tremec 8-speed dual-clutch transaxle. A transaxle cooler mounted onto the trunk lid chills the gearbox. Ford tells us there's still some trunk space under the transaxle cooler's ducting and radiator, but we didn't get to see it. Fitting a transaxle that connects to the front-mounted engine via carbon fiber prop shaft shifts the balance of weight rearward. Ford claims the GTD has a nearly 50 by 50 front rear balance, which compares quite favorably to the Mustang Shelby GT500's 56.6% distribution. The automaker is keeping the GTD's final weight under wraps for the time being. With the exception of aluminum door skins, carbon fiber forms the rest of the body work. Before you ask, exposed carbon fiber panels as on the GT supercar are under consideration. However, such an option may ultimately prove too complicated and expensive. In an era where electrification is gaining traction, the GTD supercharged V8 engine reminds us of the raw and adulterated power that can be harnessed through traditional. Means the ambitious goal of conquering the Nürburgring Schleifer encapsulates the Mustang GTD's determination to not only compete with the best, but to surpass them, this pursuit of a sub-seven-minute lap time places the GTD in an elite league of performance vehicles that have etched their names in the annals of Nürburgring history. While lap times aren't the sole measure of a car's prowess, they serve as a tangible testament to the engineering excellence and dynamic capabilities of a vehicle by challenging the Nürburgrings and forgiving corners and undulating stretches, the GTD aims to prove its mettle and elevate the Mustang's reputation to unprecedented heights. This endeavor isn't just about winning a race against the clock, it's a testament to the ceaseless pursuit of perfection that drives automotive enthusiasts and engineers alike. Characteristic power. No doubt, the GTD will be quick. Motivation comes courtesy of a slightly modified version of the Shelby GT500 supercharged 5.2-liter V8. In GTD dies, 
The blown Bentate ought to make around 800 horsepower up from the GD500's 760 horsepower and red line at 7,500 RPM. A dry sump oil system should allow the engine to keep all eight cylinders sufficiently lubricated on the track. Even with this addition, the engine maintains the same mounting position as the GD500. An available titanium exhaust made by Akrapovic blows hot air out of two large pipes that protrude from the rear fascia. We assume the GTD includes a launch control system so it can make the most of the traction provided by the Mammoth 345-30ZR to 20 Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2R rear tires. Up front, Ford fits the GTD with 325-30ZR to 20 rubber. Among the widest tires we can recall seeing fit to the front end of a production car. A bespoke suspension makes the most of the rubber's grip. Multimatic's adaptive spool valve ASV dampers pair with a new unequal length control arm front suspension, while the rear end incorporates a pushrod style multi link setup that works within board mounted ASV dampers and coil springs. Fuged aluminum wheels come standard but even lighter fogged magnesium wheels are optionally available to further reduce unsprung weight. Massive carbon ceramic brake rotors hide behind the GTD's wheels. Dedicated cooling ducts help keep the front rotors from overheating. GTD brings the wing with the push of a button. The GTD's body drops approximately 1.6 inches in order to make the most of its aerodynamic package. The massive wing hanging off the C-pillar is an optional extra and it's due to come with a hydraulically controlled active drag reduction system DRS to increase downforce when necessary. Pressure reducing vents in the front fenders and HUD look like pieces pulled from a dedicated Le Mans racer. For those wanting the most extreme aero package, Ford will offer a carbon fiber underbody that comes with hydraulically actuated active front flaps. In person, the GTD is shockingly wide, with aggressive fender sculpting. The 4-inch wider track, aggressive stance, and improved proportions of the approximately $300,000 Mustang variant made the Shelby GT500 that Ford parked nearby look like Danny DeVito to the GTD's Arnold Schwarzenegger. The tinted glass of the prototype vehicle limited our view of the interior. Nevertheless, we caught sight of the latest Mustang's large gauge cluster and infotainment screens, as well as a pair of racing-style Recaro front seats. Meanwhile, there are no rear seats. Befitting its big wing, the GTD's options menu includes a 3D printed rotary shifter and shift paddles made from the titanium pots of a Lockheed Martin F-22. Production of the 2025 Ford Mustang GTD is still more than a year off, with the Blue Oval planning to build between 1,000 and 2,000 examples of this mighty Mustang. We're sure Ford will sell every last one. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the car nerd for detailed review of all new Ford Mustang GTD. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more captivating content.